Hello, hello! I am sharing with you today my top favorite BB creams, CC creams, and tinted moisturizers. I have various prices as well as various coverage levels, and no matter what skin type you have, there is a product in here for you. Some of these can function almost as foundations because they have such nice coverage, while others just give a veil, a tint to the skin just to kind of perfect it a little. So we can go ahead and get into it, but before I get started, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider hitting that subscribe button before the end of this video. Now let's get started. Most of these BB creams, CC creams, and tinted moisturizers will work for any skin type. I have oily combination skin. I also have very sensitive skin with rosacea that can flare up if I use the wrong product. I think that's really important to note when you're talking about products like this. So when you're thinking about tinted moisturizers, BB creams, and CC creams, Creams, you typically think about products being lighter in coverage than your typical foundation. Usually these feel good on the skin, they are lightweight. And we were talking about BB creams and CC creams. A lot of them also have SPF in them as well. They're kind of supposed to be all-in-one products that can help with anti-aging and have skin benefiting ingredients in them too. The CC cream that I'm gonna start off with is kind of polarizing. I find that as popular as it is, people either love it or they really dislike it, but it is the most popular CC cream in the United States, just in terms of sales and everything else. This is the IT Your Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream. That is a mouthful. This is the $39.50 and there are a couple of finishes of this now. This is the original formula. This is the one that I prefer. They call this a full coverage CC cream. This is one of those CC creams that gives coverage kind of equivalent to a foundation, but it's got skin improving ingredients in it. It's got collagen and peptides and some other ingredients as well. It does have kind of a light lemony fragrance. So if fragrance bothers you, you may wanna take that into consideration. It has never bothered me. It's never bothered my sensitive skin before. I can apply this with any method. If I am in a hurry and I wanna slap it on like it is a lotion with my fingers, I can do that. Applying it that way or with a brush, give me medium to full coverage. Most days though, I use a damp sponge and I get light to medium full coverage depending on how much I wanna build it up. I find because I don't need much at all, a little goes a long way, that it doesn't feel heavy on my skin. It lasts a long time without feeling heavy. It evens everything out nicely. It provides great coverage. It just gives a nice demi matte finish once all my makeup is done. It never emphasizes any texture or little fine lines that I have. I have these expression lines up here uh, that foundation can kind of crease in and it doesn't do that. This is the CC cream that I have on in today's video. It looks good in person. I'm hoping it looks good on camera, but I find I reach for this a lot, a lot more than I thought I would initially when I first purchased this several years ago. I'm gonna go to another option that gives foundation light -like coverage, but is at a drugstore price point. So this is the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. It says it's for oily skin, but I feel like if you have normal to oily skin, this would be really great for you. Whereas the It CC Cream can span all skin types. Uh, and I'm not even so sure it would emphasize anything bad on dry skin either. I'm in the shade 530 Light Medium. This gives light medium buildable coverage that I can use any method of application with. This feels very lightweight on the skin. This does not have any SPF. That's why this to me is a little bit more foundation-like than a lot of the BB creams, CC creams that we have here. It applies easily. It feels lightweight. It lasts all day. And I love the travel-friendly tube of this and the It CC cream. I am a sucker for just a travel-friendly lightweight tube. I stay shine-free with this when I use a primer. I usually do use a primer underneath most things, even most BB creams and CC creams and tinted moisturizers. It just keeps my oily T-zone from getting shiny too quickly. I've tried all of these without and most of them just perform better in terms of shine for me that way. You don't need to use a primer if that's not the norm for you. This is a great option if you have, I would say, normal to oily skin and you want light, medium, buildable coverage and you just don't wanna feel or look like you're wearing 
foundation. On the other end of the spectrum, we're gonna go to the lightest coverage product in this list. This is the Chanel Le Beige Water Fresh Tint. I have an entire dedicated review to this that I can link you to. In my review, I said that it was almost the equivalent of applying a blurring filter to your naked skin. It just evens everything out and it feels really good on the skin. So this is made of 75% water and they say to dispense it on your hand and use the brush that they included. You can use any brush to swirl it around to burst the encapsulated micro droplets and that that's where the tint comes from. And it gives a more evened out look to your skin, a bare skin effect that's just really nice and even. It's very hydrating, but it doesn't settle anywhere. I don't want it to settle. This is the most expensive product in this video. It is $65. There are six shades, I think. I'm in the shade medium, if I'm recalling correctly. Yes, medium. This is going to give your skin a true no makeup makeup look. I was a little scared the first time I applied it because it made my skin look really, really wet but once it's set, it just looks really glowy and beautiful and it doesn't feel like nothing on your skin. Your skin feels really good and hydrated and just better. I don't even know how to really explain it fully. This has a soft, soft Chanel fragrance to it. So if that bothers you, you will not like this. It does not bother me whatsoever and it disappears upon application. This is perfect for those of you who just want to lightly even out things and you just want a your skin but better look and you can spot conceal where you need. This is a sheer product. This is not gonna be for those of you who want coverage. That's what some of the other products in this video are for. I was actually very surprised by how much I liked this because it's not mattifying. It doesn't keep me totally shine free, but but when I do get shiny, it's not greasy looking, it's just more radiant, glowy, healthy. And this is good for any skin type. I really enjoy this in the spring and the summer when it's hot out and I just want my skin to feel more refreshed and nice and I don't wanna look like I'm wearing makeup. It's perfect for that. This next one is probably my most recent CC cream acquisition. And I don't know why it took me so long to try it because I've really been into K-beauty, J-beauty, that kind of thing lately. I feel like both do really, really great things for the skin. And I feel like there are some really great Korean and Japanese skincare products out there and makeup products as well. So this is the Herborean CC Cream. This is a high definition radiance face cream and it does have SPF 25. This is $44 and there are three shades, which may make you think that's not enough. This is a color correcting cream that has white pigments so when you squirt it out, it looks completely white and they transform to adapt to your skin tone when you start blending it into your skin. So as long as you use the shade that's in your color range, it is going to match your skin perfectly. It's magical that way. I use my fingers to apply this. It gives light coverage, not as sheer as the Chanel. It gives slightly more coverage than that, but it's still very light skin evening coverage with a soft radiant finish, but it's not too radiant for my oily skin. I definitely think this span across all skin types. It's lightweight, it's sheer, it evens out the skin tone, any redness that you have, and it wears a really long time. This is a nice option, and they do also have a mini that's $22, I think, if you wanna try it to see if you like it. This is a BB cream that I was not quite sold on when I first reviewed it. I didn't hate it, but I didn't really love it. I've since been wearing it a little bit more in different ways. It's, it's kind of grown on me a little bit. So I wanted to include it in this video. I do think it's a great option for a lot of people and it's a wonderful option if you maybe want something that's gonna give you a lot of anti-aging benefits, a lot of skin improving benefits, but maybe you want some different ingredients than are in the IT Cosmetics. Maybe you don't want that full of coverage. So this is the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream. I have the shade 23 and I showed it in that video. It's a little bit gray for me. I think there are better shades, but I've been mixing in my Drunk Elephant D Bronzy and that helps color correct it a little bit for me. This does have SPF 42 and it's PA++++. This gives medium buildable coverage. It's not gonna give you that medium to full, full coverage that the IT CC cream will give you, but it gives 
pretty good coverage. Despite being kind of thick when you pump it out, it's actually lightweight on the skin. This has ceramides, hyaluronic acid, and squalane in it, which are all really great for the skin. And it's supposed to help brighten the skin and heal blemishes and just do really great things for the skin over time. Now I did note in my original review of it, I'll link that down below. It's included in a foundation roundup type of video. It has added fragrance and it has mineral oil, which I know are deal breakers for some people. It has not made my skin react at all. So that was my big question with this, but so far so good. And I know this is a very, very popular BB cream. I do apply it with my fingers like a lotion and it applies very, very quickly that way. And this is a BB cream that I don't need to use a primer with. Surprisingly enough, I can kind of go either way, which I don't know, I kind of like that. I can get ready pretty quickly with it. The drawback for me with this is how hard to remove it is. I use really good makeup removers at night and this just sinks into the skin so firmly. It's a little bit hard to remove, so just note that. At full price, the last time I checked, it retailed for $22, but I see it on sale all the time and you get 1.7 ounces. So this is a pretty good option for any skin type and it's pretty budget friendly as well. This is probably my favorite tinted moisturizer of all time. I have just fallen in love with it. I think it's perfect, especially for me with oily combination skin. This is the Sephora Matte Perfection Tinted Moisturizer. It's $18. I think there are 16 shades of this. I'm in the shade seven linen. If you have oily combination skin or if you get shiny in your T-zone, most tinted moisturizers are not really good for that. This is one that gives me a soft matte finish without looking flat. It blends in using any method I want to use and it gives me really nice light to medium coverage. It doesn't have a scent. It's weightless. It lasts a long time and it's poor blurring. I have said in the past that I feel like it's kind of a lighter coverage version of a cross between Dior Backstage and Chanel Lumiere Velvet. That's how I feel about this. I feel like it's such a hidden gem. No one ever talks about it and it's such a good tinted moisturizer. I think anyone with normal to oily skin could wear this and absolutely love it. It's really flattering. It just looks beautiful on the skin. I have an entire playlist dedicated to my top foundations for different categories. I'm going to link that for you here if you haven't seen that. Let me know your top CC creams, BB creams, and tinted moisturizers down below. I haven't tried every one out there. I'm sure there are some other fabulous ones that I can try out and maybe add to my updated list when I do that. I hope you found this helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.